Hey, welcome to another episode of BeersAndBars.com Quarantine Edition. Today coming from you from Los Angeles, one of the epicenters of the COVID-19 pandemic, but wanted to get away from that and obviously since I'm home, it'd be okay to take that off for right now. Uh, wanted to talk about uh, light beer alternatives. So we've been seeing a lot of uh, craft beer offerings jump in the game, offering low calorie, low carb options and also included in that is low ABV options and the ones I wanted to discuss today is one from Langunitas daytime IPA and the second one is from Firestone uh, Walker Brewing Company uh, Flyjack uh, IPA now both of these offer like for instance the Flyjack is 96 calories uh, 5 carbs and it is uh, 4.0 alcohol per volume. And then you also have the Lagunitas Daytime IPA. And this one is 98 calories, three carbs. And I believe it is also uh, 4% ABV. So, you know, a lot of alternatives no longer. Do you have to go with the Bud Lights, the Coors Light? You could drink this, feel good about yourself. Uh, not don't catch a, a major buzz or anything like that and you know keep your calories in check and if you're on a keto low carb diet um, and you're cheating once in a while there's a perfect cheat you can still enjoy a good quality beer all right so let's jump into the Lagunitas of daytime and see how that flows what's interesting is you know I think because of a IPA offering you have that option of uh you know giving it that hoppy flavor without making it uh, uh too heavy with carbs and calories and as you can see it does look like a light beer a uh, little bit of carbonation nice head if you ever poured a, a, a Coors Light or a Bud Light they do have a head but it doesn't doesn't stay there doesn't linger this one's pretty good yeah, right off the bat, you get the citrus scents from it. Um, and it's true that smell is connected to taste because as soon as uh, you smell that, you do get a sense that it's going to be refreshing, citrusy, uh, slightly hoppy, and uh, something that's enjoyable on a day like this. It's a nice, uh, it's some clouds out here, but it's perfect for drinking a nice, I would even call it a session, low carb IPA. Let's go ahead and take a drink. crisp smooth tastes great doesn't linger uh, that much like a regular IPA obviously slight bit of bitterness but not a lot obviously uh, but it's definitely uh, very flavorful tasteful uh, more body than a regular uh, light beer so it's definitely enjoyable so not only are you just drinking a drink you're actually drinking good quality beer and uh, at a good price too. I believe I picked up a six pack at a liquor store, which you know, sometimes you go to a liquor store, sometimes the prices might be a little elevated. But in this case, a six pack cost me $8.99. So it was definitely something that uh, I would definitely pick up and definitely something you could drink uh, often during the week um, after work and you wouldn't kind of feel like a little bit sluggish the next day. All right, guys. Well, this one was the Lagunitas Daytime. And uh, let me go ahead and finish this. And when we come back, we'll go ahead and talk about the Firestone Flyjack, which is a hot, a hazy India IPA. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, guys. I'll be back. All right. Well, welcome back. And now we're going to jump into Firestone Flyjack, which is a hazy India Pale Ale. Uh, 96 calories and five carbs um, and has uh, ABV of 4.0 uh, picked up a six pack of this at the liquor store for 10.99 uh, really like that uh, craft beer is jumping up to bat and uh, up to the plate and uh, giving us some uh, light beer alternatives 
So let's jump into this hazy India Pale Ale. It's a Sunday. I believe it is April 19th here in Los Angeles. Uh, can't even tell you. It's been probably a month that we've been on quarantine. Haven't really been drinking that much, so um, didn't want to get faded or anything too drastic. So actually, this is perfect beer for uh, for this this type of thing that we're in. So you know, you know, if you do want to get a uh, little buzz, and obviously there's other options out there, but uh, still want to uh, keep my wits about me. And you know, this keeps things keep going on. We gotta find other alternatives to bring in money, right? All right, guys. So let's go ahead and talk about this. All right. Well, it's definitely hazy. See that? Nice head. Uh, very little carbonation, citrusy. You're definitely expecting a West Coast IPA type taste to it. All right, let's jump into it. Flavorful, has a little bit of the citrus, a little bit of the hoppiness, obviously not too much. Um, very light, uh, doesn't feel heavy at all, easy drinking, smooth. Um, everything you, you'd expect from a, a light beer, but with, with flavor, and honestly I could say that with flavor. So definitely, definitely enjoy this. And like I said, it was for a good price, a six pack. You could actually drink a six pack and probably feel just fine. Especially if you drink it after you had dinner or something or, you know, snacking or something. Definitely don't have to worry about it. I would say it'd be perfect to watch a game with, but ain't no games on right now. So, I don't know, watch a rerun. Um, although I do have a, a, a strategy for if this happens again. Um, I know we like sports, but try to keep one sport that you kind of like out of your daily watch routine. So when if this happens again, like for me, I could watch any boxing or any soccer game and not know the outcome of it. So I'm going to keep that out of my daily interests and just so if this happens again and they have to play a replay of games, I'll be able to watch those and be actually not knowing who wins. So. That's one of the strategies, and since I've obviously I've had time to think about that, so that's quarantine life. You think about stuff that doesn't make any sense. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching another episode of BeersAndBars.com. If you're watching a beer video, I hope your life is okay. Uh, please continue to stay safe, and sooner rather than later, we'll be out there complaining about regular stuff again. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching another episode here on beersandbars.com. And if you haven't done so already, have a great beer. Thank you.